You come through me, or you take your chances out there. Oh, I've had enough of this. Ah! Why, oh, why do you exist? Ah! Let's have some fun then. Come on then! You got yourself into quite a pickle, haven't you, little lady? So, I'm assuming hospital, right? No! No hospitals! Can you take me to Sandy Shores? I got people there who can help me out. Chola Springs out of Sandy Shores! <laughs> it's your lucky day! We're virtually neighbors! I assume you've heard of Trevor Phillips Enterprises? What? Uh, no, I don't think so. Hmm, no point introducing you to my friends in the mountains, the state you're in. What? Which friends? Well, it's just an aging organization in desperate need of some young blood. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. Look, thanks for this. Another 20 seconds, I'd have had the cops all over me. What the hell happened back then? Don't worry about it, okay? It's not worth it. I'm helping a bleeding girl who won't go to hospital or the cops flee the scene of a dead body. I reckon I deserve some deets here, girlfriend. Just a job that went wrong. Trust me, don't want to know. Oh, come on. I love hearing about criminal bloopers. It makes me feel so much better about myself. So you're in the game? You know, it really pains me when people refer to my lifestyle choices as a game. It really undermines all my hard work. <sighs> Look, we hit a pawn shop, okay? But it was a sting. Cops were waiting for us. It was supposed to be an easy job, low risk, 20k each. I was the driver. And not a very good one. Hey, I got us through three roadblocks. We had half of San Andreas law enforcement on our ass. We'd have been home free if that son of a bitch hadn't pulled a blade on me at 100 miles per hour. Spun us off the road. You cross me, I put you down. <sighs> no second chances. Mm. Sounds like you need to find a better crew. Considering I got two in custody and the other one dead on the side of Sonora Freeway, I need any crew, period. Why? You know someone? Maybe you should do something about that pile of blood and guts pouring out of you before you go updating your resume. They got nothing to connect me. No real names, no addresses. Left all the money. Way too hot to wash. I'll get myself patched up, lie low at the safe house for a day or two, then see what I can put together. 
Damn, I don't feel my legs so good. What if you're dead already, and this is your first taste of hell? Dwell on that. This is it. Listen, I ain't sure what you're into, but you need a driver anytime, you let me know. for you here for you who was here them bikers after you killed Johnny K and they damage my stuff huh they smash up my home damage my soul this 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 statue here of impotent rage this fucking meant more to me than Johnny K meant to anyone and they smashed it those pathetic midlife crisis hog riding shaven headed Fruity leather, chapped wearing fucking assholes. They're assholes, Trevor. They are. They're chapped wearing assholes. Oh, wait, 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 you little shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, <laughs> Michael fucking Townley, right? Bitch wife, two kids, 45. Find them. Los Santos is a big, big place, Trevor. There's lots of people. You are fucking useless. Huh? Find out who did that fucking robbery, all right? And if Michael Townley lives there, or anyone matching his description, I'm gonna kill you and your fucking cousin. Am I being clear now? Yes, Trevor. Thank you, Wayne. Now smile. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. all right? That's better. Run along. Uh, <laughs> now, Ron, shall we go? I cannot believe that they fucking destroyed my statue of impotent rage. The cheek, huh? The fucking cheek of it. I gotta make a stop at ammunition. You're meeting me at the Lost MC's airfield. in your ear when I get a hold of you. Oh, what are you buying at the gun shop? I'm not buying anything. I need a sniper rifle with a high-powered scope. They say they support local business. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. Melvin! How you feel about brand synergy, huh? TP Industries. Ammunition. Good, because you're about to make a corporate gift of a rifle, a high-powered scope, and a suppressor. Uh, take whatever you want, Trevor. I can't afford another fire. That sniper on your wall looks like it'll do the job. She'll do nicely. You got a scope and a suppressor for this? It'll be quiet as a mouse. Get that look off your face. I know you sold Cletus' gun and he ain't got three brain cells. Have fun. Ron! Ron, I got the gun. Meet me at the water tower just north of the airfield. Roger that, Trevor. But you gotta look out, because there's bikers all over this airstrip. Of course there are! Two planes are touching down at the field on a weapons run. We're gonna wait till the right time and appropriate them. We are? Yes, we are. Did I get it wrong? I'm waiting at the water tower. I'm up here. I don't see the hardware, but I do see a hell of a lot of bikers. I'm up the tower, Trevor! I'd be all the way up there if it wasn't for my knee. 
We gotta wait till you can slip in there unnoticed. Should give you the time to plan a route to the gas tank you're rigging up to blow. Enough waiting. This is your moment, Ronald. Whenever you get a doubt in your mind, I want you to remember that I'm watching you through the scope of a high-powered rifle. Right, Trevor. Right, right. Got it. Now, relax. The ATV can only take you so far. Park it and don't let them spot you. Can you see me, Trevor? Trevor? You see me? You wouldn't believe this, Ron. One of these assholes is having a seizure or something. That's me! That's me! Don't shoot! Well, get a move on! I'm moving! Just keep me covered, okay? The man wants to pay his respects. I ain't one to cut that short. Don't joke! He's right there! Rub him out! He's gonna figure it! Take him before it's too late! Uh -huh. He's gonna kill me, man! You should have seen the look on his face! There's a guy coming out of the control tower. Take him out! Shit! Woo! Down he goes. Oh no! Bottom of the tower! Another guy's on his way. He's down there, amongst the bodies. Okay, I'll get to him. Clean shot, Trev. Another guy's coming out of the tower. Must be looking for the one you shot. So long, sailor. Get your sights back on me, Trev. I'm scared. Come on, man, cover me. I got you in my sights, so get a move on and plant that bomb on the gas tank. I'm on it. But there's a guy coming out of that building, I think. I can hear him. Shoot! The guy had a buddy in the building! He's come out! Good kill, Trevor! I'm uh, fixing it! Don't let him sneak up on me, okay? And watch out for the tank. It'll go up if you hit it. Someone's coming. He's gonna get me before I finish. He sees me! He sees me, Trevor! He knows I'm here! A bolt from the blue! Can you hear that? Chopper! Incoming! Always hated that chopper! Just fucking drive! You're bikers! It's looking for us, T! We ain't gonna get him guns when they got tactical superiority! If I hit the chopper, everyone's gonna know we're here. Try and hit the pilot when he's settled. They might think he crashed. Might they? They might.
Successfully delivered, Ron. Now remember, if you beat me to the airstrip, I'll butcher your carcass and wrap you in cheesecloth. represent them. He was a man past his prime. I heard he used to be serious. A few hard stamps to the head knocked the seriousness right out of him. Sure did. But before that, I mean, back in Alderney, 
Man was weak for Crystal. Weak for Ashley. Man was weak. Shouldn't have spoken to me like that. He shouldn't have. He was a fool. And you corrected him. He'll not do that again. Blow over the swamp, boss. So the guns are going to Mexico? Mexico. Yeah. Guy in the boat is Oscar Guzman. He's in with the cartels. If there's a market, this could be a way to expand the business. Like I hadn't thought of that? We might be able to buy into Oscar's thing, but leave that to me, Rod. I'm sorry to ask this, but does your contact pay well for this kind of shipment? Because I've got those lawyer fees for the divorce and my settlement costs. <laughs> oh, he pays. Better than any in this sorry country. That's good to hear, man. We'll talk about the exact split when we're grounded, okay? All right, T. I think that was adequate restitution for my impotent rage statue. That was a mighty fine statue, Trev. That was a mighty fine piece of plastic shit. But there is no price for emotional attachment. I mean, you might forego your cut to uh, alleviate my heartache. I might? Yeah, I mean, I will. Good idea. We don't have time to dwell on that now. Because we got more runs, Ron. If there is one thing that they need south of that big fence, it is guns. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Technical expertise, hmm? managerial innovations, unstoppable. Oh, that's right. Now go. I need to meditate. Or masturbate. Or both.